Hello and welcome to the Tico Times Weekly News Recap for July 9, 2023. Costa Rica's Tourism Sector Struggles On July 1, Costa Rica increased its value-added tax, VAT, from 8% to 13%, leading to concerns within the tourism sector. This change was a result of the expiration of the differentiated tax regime established in Law No. 9882, resulting in higher prices for products and services. This may potentially reduce the country's competitiveness compared to other regional nations. Industry representatives, including Shirley Calvo from Canater, acknowledge being aware of the VAT increase, but express concerns about the unfavorable timing. Alvaro Arguedas from ACOT hopes that authorities will understand the challenges faced by the tourism sector, which is still recovering from the pandemic's devastating effects. Stakeholders emphasize the need for comprehensive solutions to address the industry's challenges and facilitate a full recovery. Accused former Costa Rican president, former Costa Rican president Guillermo Solis, has been accused by the Attorney General's Office of harming the public treasury during his administration from 2014 to 2018. He has been charged with influence against the public treasury for allegedly transferring money from the national treasury to Bancredito, a state-owned bank without proper technical support or a high likelihood of return. The aim was to make the bank appear to have sufficient liquidity and avoid intervention, while potentially damaging his government's reputation. The ex-president, through a video on Twitter, vehemently denied the charges, stating that his government always acted within the law and sought the country's benefit. Mexican mayor weds a reptile. In a unique tradition to bring good fortune, Victor Hugo Sosa, the mayor of San Pedro Huamalula in Mexico, married a female Cayman named Alicia Adriana. The ceremony was attended by onlookers who clapped and danced in celebration. The ritual symbolizes the reconciliation of two indigenous groups through marriage. Before the wedding, the Cayman is taken from house to house for residents to hold and dance with. During the ceremony, the mayor pledged his fidelity to the princess girl, according to local lore. The festivities included traditional music, and the mayor sealed the ceremony with a kiss on the Cayman snout. This tradition has been practiced in San Pedro Huamalula for 230 years, as a way to seek blessings of rain, seed germination, and overall peace and harmony for the Chantal people. Thanks for watching. That's it for today's weekly recap. Stay tuned for more and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for weekly Central American news.